Closing up the cottage can be overwhelming for cottage newbies and for old hands alike. After all, nobody wants to arrive back to their place in spring to find a mouse infestation, water in the basement, or perhaps worst of all, a collapsed roof. But don't get scared, get planning. Follow these five tips for closing up the cottage to give yourself a worry-free winter. First up, your plumbing and water supply. The basics are pretty clear. Drain your tanks and lines, put antifreeze in your traps, and open up all of your taps. But here are the don't forgets. Make sure that you drain the water from flexible lines in your shower and in your sink if you have them. And don't forget to drain the lines in your dishwasher and your washing machine and in your garden hoses. Next, another biggie, animal control. Even if you think that you've packed up every little morsel of food, have you really? Have you cleaned out the crumbs from your toaster? Have you cleaned the grease catcher on your barbecue? How about your grill? If there's any little bit of food anywhere, I guarantee you that the mice, or worse, will find it. When it comes to shutting off your electricity and heat, resist the urge to just throw the main switch in the breaker panel to shut off the power. That's risky. It can cause problems when you reopen in the spring by introducing a huge load to the electrical panel all at once when you flip that breaker back on. Instead, start by unplugging or switching off major electricity draws such as water heaters, baseboard heaters, fridges, and pumps, and then turn off the breaker in the fall. That way, the load is introduced gradually as you switch everything back on in the spring. Don't forget your tools and equipment. Before you leave the cottage at the end of the season, spray down your tools with WD-40 and then wrap them in an old towel to keep them rust-free all winter. Add fuel stabilizer to your gas, then top off all fuel tanks so that they are full to avoid condensation forming inside. The last thing is your roof. Preparing your cottage roof for winter is one of the most important things that you'll do at closing up. Although it's not always necessary, installing support posts will help you avoid a lot of winter worry from afar. You can buy telescoping support posts or you can make your own out of 4x4s. And don't forget to clear out your eaves troughs so that melted snow has an easy path to the ground. My last thing is less a tip than a suggestion. Don't stress, you've got this. With a little planning, your cottage will handle winter just fine.